What's up guys, Om here from everything and welcome to this new video. So the Apple Watch has had this feature for a while now, which lets you unlock your Mac right from your Apple Watch. But although the Apple Watch is the most popular smartwatch, not everyone has one. So I'm going to show you how to unlock your Mac right from your iPhone or iPad for that matter. So let's get started. You will need one of these NFC tags. These are really cheap. I got one for the price of 12 rupees. I'll leave a link to them in the description. In case you don't have an NFC tag or don't want to buy one, I will also be showing you another method which will let you do the same without the need of the NFC tag. Alright, so we'll have to do a couple of things on the Mac first. So head over to System Preferences and then go to Sharing. Then head over to Remote Management and enable that. And also head over to Remote Login and enable that. Now under Remote Login, you'll have to note this down. Computers on your local network can access your computer at your ID that is ending with .local. Just copy this and paste it into your Notes app. Now also head over to this part which says Remote Login is on and to log in to this computer remotely type SSH which will be followed by your root username then at your IP address. Now you just have to note your root username down so it will be present before the at the rate sign and after SSH just note that down in the notes app as well. Also make sure to disable allow full disk access for remote users unless you're using it for something else. Also make sure that all the details we have noted down right now are confidential and should not be shared with anyone else. So yeah. Uh, that's it for the Mac side. Now we'll head over to the iPhone. Alright, so we'll have to do a couple of things on the iPhone before we can set everything up and to be ready to go. So just head over to the description and go to my article on my website. So yeah, just scroll down and you'll find the download button. Just click the download button. Since this is the pre-release version of the website, the link is below the download button, but you can just click the download button then it'll open the shortcuts app then you'll see this just scroll down and click add untrusted shortcut then it will ask you for your max host name or ip address i prefer using the host name uh, which we noted down earlier on the mac so just enter that which ends with dot local then click continue after you've entered it then it will ask you for your max password enter that as well then click continue again. Then it'll ask you for your SSH port of your Mac. If you do not know what the SSH port is or if you haven't changed it any time uh, in the past, then do not worry, just keep it to 22, that's the default. Then again, click continue. Then it'll ask you for your root username of the Mac. We noted that down earlier as well. So just type that here again. Now just click done. Since I already have it, I'll just click replace but you should not get this pop-up and you should be ready to go right after that. Now it will say add it to my shortcuts. Now if you have an NFC tag, you'll have to follow these instructions. Then head over to automations. On the top right, click the plus icon, then create a personal automation, then head over to NFC. Now in case you don't see NFC, I'll talk about why just in a bit. Just click NFC, then click scan, and on your screen, there'll be a video showcasing how you have to scan it. Then I'll just do that. Then give it a name. I'll just name it as Mac. Then click next. Now you have to add an action. Then search for run shortcut. Then click shortcut. Then search for unlock. There should be unlock Mac. After that is set up, you are pretty much ready to go. Just click next. Then disable ask before running, don't ask, click done, that's it. Now the next time you tap the NFC tag, your Mac will unlock. So yeah, that's pretty much the setup. Back to the normal view. Now keep in mind that NFC tags only work natively in the shortcuts app with iPhones with the A12 chip or newer. This includes the iPhone SE 2 as well. Now, if you really want to, you can go ahead and search for an external app which lets you do the same and launch a CD shortcut. But I'm not going to show that in this video. But what I am going to show is how to do it without an NFC tag altogether. 
all right so i'll show you how you can do it if you don't have an nfc tag or don't want to buy one just head over to the shortcuts app then uh, right click or long press the unlock mac action then click details then click add to home screen now you can just use this icon uh, if you want you can customize the color in the previous step but i'd recommend using my own icons which i made for this purpose so just click choose file i leave a link to this folder in the description so i have an option for black icons blue icons and icons from my icon pack which is coming very soon so i'll just use my own icon pack and let's choose my imac then it will show up just click add add it to home screen and here we have it unlock mac the next time you click this your mac will unlock you can add it to your first page of the home screen to make it easily accessible or you can just ask siri and it will unlock as well so yeah that's pretty much it back to the normal view something to note is that nfc tags don't work directly on metal so you can't place it on your mac i'm going to place it on my desk just like this but if you have a macbook and want to place it right onto it you can get a slightly more expensive version of the nfc tag which works on metal and that should fix the issue okay coming to security concerns i know you have those so you might wonder if someone else brings the iphone to as a nfc tag will it unlock my mac the simple answer is no the nfc tag does not have any data written onto it by the iphone all the data is stored right onto the iphone and is performed on the iphone it just has the specific code of the nfc tag so if you have another iphone and if you tap it it will do nothing so yeah that shouldn't be something you should be worried about and i've also configured it to only work when the iphone is unlocked so if you try to do this when your iphone is locked it will ask you for face id or touch id and the ssh steps on the mac shouldn't be a issue either unless you have given your password ip address and root username to someone else which i don't think you have so don't worry about that for the curious ones who want to know how this works this runs with the help of an apple script this apple script first wakes up the mac and then types in the password and then presses a return all right so last week at dubbed up apple announced mac os 12 ipad os 15 and ios 15 all of which i covered in this video which you should totally watch by the way but that aside they did a revamp of how shortcuts work while the new method is fundamentally similar to the old one if you're not familiar with shortcuts at all this might be a slight issue for you i'll also update this video with a part 2 once i15 comes out as a public release of course it's just a developer beta right now so majority of you guys aren't on it there are still a few things that aren't working with mac os 12 your max key fingerprint changes every time so you have to tap confirm every time you tap the nfc tag or initiate the unlock request from the home screen not much of a hassle but i'm still trying to fix it so yeah back to the video if this helped you out make sure to share it with your max user friends and consider clicking that subscribe button and liking this video that's it for this one if you have any questions ask me in the comment section down below and i'll try my best to solve your issue thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one. Peace.